Hey everyone, it's Sam, and I thought I would do a slightly different video. I know I've been focusing heavily on hauls, specifically Timu, and kind of vlogs, and I did used to do uh, grocery hauls. I just always seem to put the food away before I even think about filming one, and we just came back from Wegmans. It was a late night trip. Um, it's 10 something now, but... We usually like to go at night, avoid the crowds, and yeah, we just like to uh, go later on in the day instead of the morning. Okay, so we have three bags, and these bags are from Amazon. I don't know if it's they make it from the same store or brand, but um, if you see these kinds of bags, I'll show you after I empty this one. Uh, they're fantastic. They have held up for several years and since a lot of places now require you to bring your own bags and I have a ton of those so I don't mind. Um, I do miss plastic bags just for like garbage bags. Uh, the first thing is this huge ragu and I plan to use it for stuffed cabbage. Uh, I meal plan before we went which is always great. Sometimes I go and I just end up getting a bunch of what if scenario situations. Uh, so I got the tomato sauce there and I'll freeze probably some of that because all of that won't go into the stuffed cabbage recipe. Next are these strip steaks and I usually get these. They have increased dramatically in price. I would say I used to get them for, for 35 to $45. Now this one was 48 and so you get four they're really good and um food is one of those things that we splurge on there is no budget although we should probably get a budget for food because we always spend so much uh so the steaks that's going to be a meal this week then i figured we always liked i always like to have a frozen pie crust just for quiches um or pot pies but i usually make uh, i usually use uh these pie crusts for uh, quiches and it's the deep dish one uh next is this campbell's tomato soup i'm using it for the stuffed cabbage recipe then we also have cream of mushroom soup two of these for one of the meals is going to be beef stroganoff and then the last thing in this bag uh, this piqued our eye. Steve's been into mineral water, especially carbonated. And we got the Aqua brand from Wegmans. And I'll show you the bag before we move on to the next one. So this is the size. It's really big. I'll move back so you can see. It's really big. And it can be folded easily. Sometimes I find uh, reusable bags hard to put back together. But this is pretty easy to put back and it holds a ton of stuff. You would think I would have broken it by now with how much stuff I put stuff into here. But it's held up really well. Okay, I moved you up so my head is less cut off. Um, next is, I think this is parsley. Yeah, parsley for a few recipes this week. Next is this crystal light. I love these, the crystal light specifically. Um, I get this one. If they have a variety pack, I will get that, but Wegmans didn't have it this time. I get the lemonade, the fruit punch, the peach iced tea, uh, pink lemonade. I just really like that brand of drinks. And I find water lately so boring. And I get, I have just a bunch of those packets. Next, Steve's blueberries for his shakes. Mushrooms for the beef stroganoff. A bunch of cold cuts we got this Yancey steakhouse onion cheddar cheese that's really good Munster cheese uh, Wegmans honey roasted turkey we got this last time and it was really good I turned the tea kettle on Oops. <laughs> then we have Wegmans black Angus seasoned roast beef we tried the was it the Wagyu American Wagyu I, last time, uh, but this one looks really good and it's super rare, which we like. Medium egg noodles for the beef stroganoff. And if, I've listed a few things that we're going to have this week to eat. If you see something that I should have, I probably already have it in my pantry. For Steve's dinner tonight, I know it's late, but he um, we're night owls anyway. And he went to the gym pretty late, so he's going to eat now. Got the salmon. Uh, it's... The teriyaki black pepper salmon. It looks really good. Then for his veggie. Oh, this also comes with veg veggies underneath. But I thought this might be nice too. To have this uh, buttery broccoli with Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And then if that's not enough. Uh, wild salmon burgers. 
sorry, you're gonna have to stare at those bad patties. Uh, cilantro, I got avocados, which I will show you in a second. Uh, dill for this stuffed cabbage. Lettuce, we have romaine. I like to get this one just because this will last for a couple of weeks in my fridge. And then my favorite, arugula, and that is the second bag. I will, oh, is there something else in here? Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, Steve's yogurt or oats, mush oats, coffee flavored. And now for the last bag, here are a bag of nectarines. I was trying to look for strawberries, but there was absolutely none. I was so disappointed. Bag of avocados. Ouch, that. Okay, that could have broken my toes. That was a bag of carrots. Uh, here is a bag of broccoli. I was gonna, I didn't see this and I was gonna get the head, which I can easily do, chop up the head of broccoli, but I just didn't feel like it. So I got the bag pre-made, pre-cut up already. Uh, then we have, he, Steve wanted cottage cheese, so he got this good culture. Bag of lemons and limes. And then, sorry, to dip down there. Uh, here's a bag of carrots. I'll put that back on the floor. Uh, here are bananas. Then we have white onions. And, oh my, God. that was the bag of avocados. I almost got my other side of my foot. I just don't have any counter space. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter. I like to use this for um, specifically corn when we do corn on the cob. Sometimes I'll spray it on a baked potato or uh, a piece of toast. And then this cabbage that was the only cabbage left and somebody had put it in another section. I passed by and I'm like, oh great, there's cabbage around, but there was none. So I went back and got this one. And that is the end of my grocery haul. It's so much better to go in there when one, you're not hungry, right? They always say that. And if you have a meal plan, this week I'm going to, I only cook about four days out of the week, Monday through Thursday. And I plan to make, I don't know what order, but I plan to have steaks, chicken thighs, stuffed cabbage, and beef stroganoff. Which, I want to make beef stroganoff, but I didn't get the ground beef. Because I need that, the ground beef that's already in the freezer, I need it for the stuffed cabbage. <laughs> I thought I had everything, but I'm missing that one thing. I might take a trip to the store, maybe tomorrow. I gotta get the ground beef uh, for the, um, the beef stroganoff. Or maybe I'll just use, I have two steaks already in the freezer. So maybe I'll do it with the steaks. I don't know, we have options. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.